We are still in search of the Highland cattle. And sometimes they can be friendly and sometimes they can actually kill you. In case you are new here, we are Mansoura and Bruno, an Iranian and Italian couple making travel videos here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It means a lot to us. Good morning. Good morning. We are in Portri and we are so ready to leave this part of the Isle of Skye and drive towards the south. Yeah, we're going to explore the south of the island today and we're going to see if we can see find some of the island's cows. We, we haven't seen many around. Yeah, so we, we just saw two, a couple of them. And I am really looking forward to see them because I came to Scotland mostly for them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> then we're going to go drive to the south and probably uh, based on whether there's a ferry, we might take the ferry. Otherwise, we might have to drive back to the Sky Bridge and go from the land. In the mainland, we try to see as much as we can. Then we will end, end our day in Glasgow. Yes. Let's go, guys. Highland cows are often known as the gentle giants of Scotland. You can easily recognize them with their long horns and wavy woolly coats. We saw a couple of them on a farm near Portree, but we found out the best place on the Isle of Skye to see Highland cattle freely and unfenced is around Elgol in the south, where we are heading now. I think the grass next to the road it's more delicious because always sheep come next to the road. What happened to you? What happened? Why they shave you ha in like half? That. Hey, have you seen your friends? Do you know where we can see them? You're the cute ones, not the ones that look like you. You are so cute. The cow said that way. It looks like me. I leave my hair long. <laughs> we actually had to ask a local to find them, and she was saying that usually they are around. How you didn't see them because they are lazy. They don't walk fast, and they are literally there. <laughs> Highland cattle are designed to withstand the conditions in the Scottish Highlands. Their long hair not only makes them super cute, but keeps them warm in the winter and protects their eyes from flies. The Queen has a herd of Highland cattle and it is rumored to be the only kind of beef she eats. It's probably because Highland cow's meat has 40% less fat and cholesterol than normal beef. When we were taking photos and we started chatting with the local and actually there is a massive bull next to them. She was suggesting us to avoid getting close to them because they are unpredictable and sometimes they can be friendly and sometimes they can actually kill you I mean they can hit you and kill you and she was explaining the cows actually sit on people and this is how they kill people and I don't want to be killed or even hurt that's why I keep my distance this area is so so quiet and peaceful I mean I think mm, not many trees come to this part of the island and which makes it perfect we're now gonna drive to the mainland again we're gonna pass through sky bridge and after that i think there's a couple of spots where we can see those cows again we're hoping to be able to see them a little bit closer, closer. <laughs> yeah without having to you know get close to a massive bull that looks at you with scary eyes so I'm gonna try to see if next to the sky bridge we can actually see others 
uh, and be a little bit more relaxed. We are still in search of the Highland cattle and we drove around and we ended up here in Plankton, which is the jewel of the Highland. And I think first we are going to eat and then again talk to the locals and see where we can find them. We found the best restaurant ever, like with the great view. We ordered different dishes and we are going to share. This is uh, goat cheese with apple salad. This one is garlic bread with mozzarella. And this one is the typical <laughs> fish and cheese. Strong? This is so strong. I will go for apple. <laughs> the taste of the cheese. Goat cheese is so strong. And I am not the fan. We just met a really nice local guy and he was really very very local. He was born here and he actually showed us the room he was born and he lived here for 83 years and he told us uh, the cattle, the Highland cattle, they used to come to this village in 2000. Uh, all of the people in this village decided to ban the cows because he had a really lovely garden. I can imagine the cows coming here and just eating and destroying the garden. But it was really lovely talk. We didn't see a cattle yet, but it's good. I think we have to leave this beautiful village which is so lovely and a hidden gem in Scotland we should go back to Dornish if I pronounce it right because everyone here said that they usually see the Highland cattle there and it's on our way probably today we are not very lucky with seeing animals but this is the place you usually see them these are always around Yes, uh, have you seen any cattle around here? No? Okay, thank you. Their picture is everywhere, but we can't seem to find them. We went around the whole area. Yeah, I mean, where the bridge is, they turn lights over the bridge and go for the bridge. There's like a big street, only like 200 meters away, and you might see them. Anyway, we are in the right place. They are usually here, but apparently yesterday they were here, but this is the like five kilometers field and they can walk around anywhere. And he was telling me that probably they went this side, they just crossed the fences, I don't know how, and they want to get them back. And we can't, we are not able to go up there because it's really hard, hard to go there and find them. We are so unlucky. But I hope when you come here and if you see them, just say hi. <laughs> we are not giving up at all. Like we are right now in Fort William, which is <laughs> another location to find the Highland cattle. And we are searching for them. There's a cattle grid. Maybe here, around here. Let's see. We're gonna have a look. I think I saw them. I think I found them. They are in a field actually. Okay, they are not freely roaming around like the places we went and we wanted to see them. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I think I can park here. 
Okay, <laughs> they are quite a lot, <laughs> but it's still far. I mean, I wish I could see them on the road, but Elgol and Dornish villages are the best uh, places to see them freely roaming around. Uh, but it's okay, it's still, I see them, I'm happy. <laughs> We arrived in Glasgow after driving the whole day basically in search of the uh, Highland cattle. Our mission was kind of successful. We saw them. We saw them in different locations, but I think my expectation was so high and I wanted to get so close to them and I don't know, like maybe because I saw a lot of a picture of them and they were on the road but maybe next trip I get close to them <laughs> for now it was a really long day yeah. and we are kind of like shattered this is the end of the vlog I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe see you in the next video we couldn't find the cows but I found what I was looking for and he lived here 83 years. Can you imagine? I never lived anywhere 83 years because I never lived 83 years, I think. Okay, we didn't find the Highland cows, but we saw we found this. What is that? What kind Can of heart? Yeah. Where it's going? Hey! Look at me! I'm here! Over here! He doesn't care about any sound. Look at me! Oh my god, look at those horns!